Okay, so I know it's a new year and I know some of you all put on your new year's resolution list and goals list that you want to start a YouTube channel or if you have a YouTube channel, you want to reach the next milestone and I want to help you get there. So today I want to give you advice from my perspective of how to be successful on YouTube. Some things that you need to do, some things that you need to consider, the mindset you need to have. Those are the things I'm going to be talking about today. I might do an updated gear video because I did do one. When did I do one? It might have been in 2020 uh, or it might have been in 2021. I, I can't remember, but I did do a gear video, so I might do an updated one. So if you want to see that, go ahead, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a gear video as well, because I did update some things. But yes, today is all about you and your YouTube channel, your YouTube journey, you getting started, you having the right mindset. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you want to start a YouTube channel, you don't know where to start. Well, this is the thing, man. In order to be successful on YouTube, you have to. And I repeat, you have to do some type of research on what you want to create. You can't just say, hey, I want to start a YouTube channel and not do the research. And when I say research, I'm talking about finding your niche, finding out what you want to talk about, what value will you add to the platform. Form. Think about things that you can create from an authentic perspective. Think about things that you're watching and you're like, hey, I wouldn't mind creating a video on that. Or things that you do around the house that you wouldn't mind creating a video on that. You might have a skill, create a video on that. Do things and create videos on things that you do constantly, things that you see, things that you can really create videos on without being tired and feeling like you're bogged down and getting drained and things of that nature. Somebody is calling me, I will call them back. And it's my mom. Mom, I will, I, will, I will call you back, I'm sorry. You never want to be the type of creator that is looking for things to create all the time where you're not being yourself. So set out what you want to create, whether it's advice videos, if you're a woman, makeup, hair, vlogs, lifestyle, like it's a, it's a bunch of things that you can create on. Really hone in on what you can create from an authentic perspective. But to really be successful on YouTube, I'm gonna give you the key right here. Okay, the key is bringing something different to the platform. How do I do that? I'm glad you asked. When you're thinking about bringing something different to the platform, I'm not talking about a whole new genre or category. It could be within the same category, but how you tackle it should be different than what someone else is doing. Maybe it's your delivery. Maybe it's the way you edit. Maybe it's the way you articulate your message. When you think about your genre, no matter what it is, you want to tackle it and come at it from an angle that hasn't been tackled already. And then you also want to be yourself. Don't just create just to create. Create because of course you want to do it. Create because you're gonna bring something different to the table. Create because you want to bring yourself to the platform. Now, another way to be successful on YouTube is to study the algorithm. Now, when I say this, I'm not talking about like switching up your titles all the time. I'm not talking about doing clickbait all the time. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is whenever you start to create your videos, you're in your analytics constantly. Now, this is not numbers diving. This is not, you know, tracking monetization all the time, but you want to see the demographic that's watching your videos. You want to see, you know, the age ranges. You want to see what videos are getting the most clicks, what videos are getting the most likes, what videos are getting the most comments, what videos, you know, are getting the most views so you can do spinoffs of those, you know what I'm saying? Like what videos are your subscribers or at least viewers coming to your channel to see? When you first start, you're not gonna have all the analytics and all the data that you need. But as you grow over time, as you create more videos, you will have the data to back it up. You will, I would say once you have your first 10, five videos, you should have at least some sort of data to look back on and say, oh, this video did good, this video got this amount of clicks, like maybe I should do a spinoff of that because that's what people want to see. So it's okay to experiment on your channel. It's okay to, you know, switch things up a little bit until you find the right pieces. That's how you truly be successful on YouTube. You have to look at the analytics. You have to look at the data. And like I said, this is not saying that you have to look at it every day, 
But when you do look at it, you're not just looking at it to see if you're growing, to see if you're making money and things like that. You're looking at it from a perspective of, are the people that's watching my videos enjoying them? Because that's gonna make a huge difference on whether or not your channel is going to grow. You gotta have, you gotta have videos that's gonna retain people. You gotta have videos that's going to get people to come to your channel, you know what I'm saying? So you have to tour around with some things. The next way to be successful on YouTube is thumbnails and titles. And you might hear this a lot. Thumbnails have to be crisp. Okay, you don't want to have a lackluster thumbnail. Thumbnails have to be crisp, the titles have to be crisp, like titles have to match the thumbnail, the titles have to match the tags, the description. Like you want to make sure that the algorithm can find your videos quick as possible when someone searches something that might pertain to your videos. So you want to make sure that you check those boxes off. Thumbnail, title, description, tag. Now, I'm not gonna say one or the other will make your video pop, you know what I'm saying, or get noticed by the algorithm, but it will help in a sense of your videos getting noticed when someone search on Google or YouTube a certain term and things of that nature. Because the algorithm is going to study you as a creator, you as an uploader, they're gonna study you, and then after the algorithm kind of knows what's going on with you, they can recommend people to your videos, but the only way they can recommend people to your videos is if you have those things checked off. There's not a key tag, there's not a specific tag that you can use to make your videos pop, but you wanna make sure your tags have some of the same words that your description have. You wanna make sure your description have some of the same words that your title have. You wanna make sure your title have some of the same words that's in your description, not the title. You wanna make sure your thumbnail wanna have some of the same words that's in your title. So, you know, once you check all those boxes, you kind of forming that great formula for your videos to pop and stand out. Definitely, 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 definitely put emphasis on your thumbnail because that's what people see first. When you're scrolling down your timeline, when you're scrolling down your homepage, what's the first thing that you see? You see the thumbnail and then you see the title. You don't really see too much about the description. You don't, you know, you can't see the tag. So those are the first things you see. So you have to have a great title and thumbnail to capture the eye of people. Next thing that I would say you want to do with your content is start to maximize all platforms. Some people will steer away from this, but I would say if you could maximize Instagram and TikTok and drive that traffic to your YouTube channel, especially if you're having good content and good conversations, drive that traffic to your YouTube channel. So let's say that you do, you're doing short form content, right? You're doing short form content and you're taking snippets of your YouTube video and putting it on TikTok and Instagram. Reels and TikTok, you know, they're, they're getting views. If people really enjoy what they see for that 15 seconds, or however long it is, and you have a link to your channel in your bio or some way for them to click the link and get to your YouTube channel, you're going to drive more traffic to your channel no matter what. Shorts as well, YouTube Shorts, utilize YouTube Shorts some way, somehow, because short form content is winning, okay? And that brings me to my next topic. Don't think that YouTube is the end of all be all. Utilize short form content. If it's easier for you to make reels, TikToks, shorts, just make that. Create, get your views, get your followers and subscribers that way, and then move to YouTube and you know start creating some longer form videos. Don't feel like you have to start creating long form, eight minute video, 10 minute videos. You can start small, it's okay. Do what makes you comfortable and do what's easiest for you and the time that you have. Make sure that you know you have the time to do it and also make sure that it's something you can keep up. You need to be consistent on YouTube, okay? You need to drop a video every week, two times a week, three times a week, whatever it is, make sure you're consistent and you're showing up for your audience every single week in some shape or fashion. Build that trust. If you build trust with your audience, with your subscribers, with your supporters, they will trust you, they will come back, and they want to hear from you more. They will support you. But if you're in and out, you got one foot in, one foot out, dipping your toe in, you make content here and there, then you're gone, they are not gonna be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Your channel is like a TV, a TV channel. If they like what you make, they're going to come every single Tuesday to watch your show. 
and you have to show up. But my last advice, and I could talk on and on about the subject. My last advice for you is to make sure that you show up. This can come with consistency too, but make sure you show up. Show up for your supporters and show up for yourself. Dedicate time to create, dedicate time to edit, show up. So when I say show up, it's about being consistent, but it's also about commenting in the comment section, pinning comments, whether it's your comment, engaging, being very engaging with people. People are going to reach out to you on Instagram. People are going to reach out to you email. People are going to reach out to you in the comment section. When you hit a certain peak, you're going to need to respond. Try to, whether it's a like, whether it's a comment, whether it's something short, engage, because you're going to want to support those who support you. You're going to want to at least comment, like, do something for the people that support you. Show up. And I would say that's how you be successful on YouTube. This formula will not help everybody, I'm sure, but it will help you get started and help you strive for success. If you're doing all of those consistently, not stopping, you will see some form of success. Success is different. Success looks different from everyone. To me, if you had one subscriber today and two weeks later you have 10, to me that's some sort of success. If you're not at the same place you was, it's some sort of success. So don't think of success as you know the end goal being 100,000 subscribers or whatever. Don't think of that as just be a success. Think about the small wins. Think about the small things that you achieve before you get to the final destination. To me, that is still some form of success. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching, I appreciate it. If you found this video helpful and you want to see an updated gear video, leave it in the comment section. I will be happy to do that for you. And if you want some more tip videos, definitely let me know. You know, I've been selected as YouTube Next Up in 2019, recently 2022 this year. I'm a part of the Black Creators Fund with YouTube Black, you know, so apparently I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. So something is working, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to share these gems that I've learned throughout my time on YouTube and I've been on YouTube since 2017. So I'm trying to help those who want to get on the platform. There's still room for you. There's still, you know, a place for your voice here on YouTube. You just have to dive in it.